three new Happy Land fragrances, as well as my top three Happy Land fragrances of all time. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to review three new Happy Land fragrances and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my top three Happy Land fragrances. So a little double video here. I'm gonna try to cover everything involving this fragrances. So my apologies if I miss one aspect of them. I wrote down all the notes here. Tried to do kind of like three mini reviews for these new fragrances. Let's start off with El Goodo. Upon first smelling, this really reminded me of Versace's um, Versace Man. So it was kind of like a saffron, very purpley tobacco style fragrance. It just just recently got discontinued. I respected that fragrance, it was okay. This one is probably a little bit more juicy, probably is a little bit less of that harsh challengingness to it. Very, very strong and in your face, but what I like about this one, well, it's almost something like Tuscan Leather or some of these other fragrances that are very, very strong and they have like a 15 to 30 minute um, period where they're extremely strong. And then once they settle in, it's just more likable as it goes on. It's not like it's not likable on the top, but it's very loud and very strong. I would say this is probably the strongest projecting from the new batch as well. Just very juicy, very purple, very likable. So if you like sweet, juicy, fresh, purple, sweet, juicy, purple, that's what I get with this one. Or if you like Versace Man, I think this one's very similar. Um, I was surprised that there wasn't as many notes for the notes of this one are brandy, fruits, beeswax, oak moss, cedar, labanum, and white musk. I'm oh, not really so sweet. It's more juicy, purple, fruity. Um, I think it was supposed to kind of be inspired by like the 70s club scene, I think. I'm, I'm not too sure, but I probably did like this one the best. If I give it a quick rating, I'll probably give it mm, an 8 to an 8.5 for the smell, for likability, probably about a 7.5 to an 8. It gets more likable near the end. And then for a longevity and projection probably a nine maybe up to a 9.5 this stuff is really really strong at least three hours of projection and again it smells better the longer it gets into it you probably would be choking out people in a car if you had even three four sprays and just went right into a car so very very strong stuff i really did appreciate it dawn buster ej has a few different coffee fragrances i think we got cure cafe which is coffee and leather which i really really appreciate it because i like coffee fragrances but then i really do like that kind of like niche style leather that you get in something like Tom Ford so that's kind of what it blended there and then there, the other one was home for the holidays which I really really liked I think I need to try it more in the cold weather it just kind of has a fullness or a little weirdness that I really haven't found a time that it, it comes out the best in but I would say this is probably the best one that features coffee because although I do like Cure Cafe it smells good it's just niche leather and then strong coffee it's just two things maybe I like them separately I'm just kind of torn with that one this one's a little bit more well blended let's go to the notes here bergamot Woody notes, lavender, vetiver, coffee, labidum. Now to me, what I get mainly is a lighter coffee style scent, a little bit of bergamot on the top, but overall everything is kind of danced around the coffee, although they say that it's kind of in the background. Bergamot, woody notes, lavender, vetiver, coffee, labidum. So coffee was kind of like near the end, but overall I would say this is a coffee style fragrance. This totally reminds me of the morning. I think this is very, very good, but it just is totally a morning style scent. If you're going to spray this up, go get some coffee. The bergamot and the coffee, it just reminds me of morning so this is probably the best morning scent i like stuff that dances well with coffee it goes good with coffee and i do probably like this one the best dawn buster great for the morning if i were to give it a good rating real quick i'd probably give it probably in a solid eight just because i have i don't have that many good fragrances that revolve around coffee this is probably the best happy line fragrance that revolves around coffee and for right now the best coffee fragrance that i know of i haven't really looked too far but this is the best coffee fragrance that i've tried so far likeability 7.5 to an 8 i'm kind of torn with that one because it just is a morning scent so i don't know how many people are going to like it for that or if you wear this at other times Times, I don't know how well it would go. So I'm just gonna give it a 7.5 to an 8 because I do think it is really pretty likable compared to the other ones of the line. Very, very solid. Then longevity and projection. This one's solid. All of Happy Lands are pretty strong. I'd probably give this 7.5 to an 8 too. It's it is well above average. It is pretty strong, just not as strong as something like El Goodo, and that is Dawn Buster. The last one, Geranibus. I think a little bit of oil came out and got on the top there, but this one's very interesting. This is supposed to mix geranium and cannabis basically so the notes are geranium cannabis tomato leaf clary sage orris root clove cinnamon and a spot of a garwood aka oud this is a very solid middle of the road scent for me it doesn't smell 
overly like cannabis, but it definitely has the way it's blended. It can smell at times a little grassy and definitely like cannabis. I was trying this out at work because I think somebody may kind of interpret it for it being a cannabis style scent. So I was like, well, I don't want to be smelling like that at work. Thankfully, I didn't have any issues with it. So I do appreciate that it accomplishes what it was going after though, because if I was kind of worried about the smell, that's what it's supposed to smell like. So I do like it. This is just a kind of general spicy middle of the road style scent to me. Doesn't do too many like crazy things, not overly sweet, a very, very solid middle of the road scent if i were to give this a rating here i would probably give it for me probably about 7.5 right down the middle there's nothing really about this fragrance that makes me dislike it but it's not overly likable either it just in my opinion so i would say right down the middle 7.5 this is just me personally and then likability i probably give this a 7 out of 10 because again i don't think it's overly likable but i don't think it's necessarily bad at all so i would give it right down the middle when you're buying this you already know it's supposed to smell like geranium and cannabis so if you want it to smell like that that's what you're going to get because i do think it smells like that i do agree with that and then longevity and projection i'd probably give this eight maybe up to an 8.5 but that's the strongest point of this one and usually happy land it, really strong blending really high quality and really long lasting so that is geranibus very solid my favorite three from happy land cravat noir really really classy so easy to wear utilizes bergamot like a lemon style note in a different way it smells classy you could almost wear it a little bit in the day but you could almost dress it up as well copy of tuxedo very very good cravat noir really really enjoy this one rhyolite one of the best ones that i could recommend for somebody wanting a unique sweet fragrance to me almost smells like a tuned up version of andy warhol i just really really like it this is like sweet gourmand bomb very very good it really comes down to do you like like out there sweet fragrances this is one of the best but if you're not overly into sweet fragrances i would definitely pass on this one and because it's sweet obviously it's going to go better in the cold weather very very good love this one this one's really really good really really sexy really really different i just really enjoy it to me it, <laughs> it smelled like a sexy hippie girl the first time i smelled it i just absolutely love this smell it is a bit feminine but i am so so impressed with this and these three from happy land man i could spray these up all the time absolutely love them but we'll have to do uh, some more testing on el goodo because i really did enjoy it kind of later on it is a loud style scent that is kind of unusual and may garner some different attention with it because it, it really does smell like versace man and i don't know anything else that smells like versace man but anyways guys that's been three new happy land fragrances and that's been my top three Happy Land fragrances. What are your favorite Happy Land fragrances? Let me know down below. Let me know what fragrances I should review next. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We are almost there, and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.